Fashion for dummies? Fashion for less? What? Is this presented by C. Montgomery Burns? Ooh, I don't know which is more offensive, the word gals or the possessive there. Fashion for Go-Getters is filmed on location in a studio. Somebody go get the Go-Getters. We are on stage in a motion picture studio. Place, New York. Event, the preview of fashions for the young trendsetters, the Go-Getters. The Bedwetters. By five savvy sophomores from Dartmouth College. Brought to New York by Salonese to tell Go-Getting girls what they like in fashion. Why? Paul Clungness, football star and law student. Dad owns a dealership. Cliff Smith, English major from Connecticut. Trust fund baby. <laughs> Paul Lipscomb, pre-med from Minnesota. Congressman's son. Tom Grove, architecture from Rhode Island. Inheritance. Ken Walkley, pre-med and varsity crew. Father knows the dean. The stage is set. Makeup goes on. The models give themselves a last primp. Charge up those tasers. The rules are simple. The boys look at the clothes. Record what they honestly think. And get slapped in the face. And what does the college man want his gal to wear? Listen. Who cares? Life's too short. We're not it's your property. That kind of stuff. I really like a full-length formal like that. It's tremendous. You can't just say tremendous every time, Cliff. I think it would be great at a beach party. Wow. Winona Ryder has always looked 19. I like the midriff cutout real well myself. I like the fact that it's simple, since I don't particularly like frilly clothes. I think I'll give that one an A+. Plus. I give it three and a half kegs. I really like a two-piece like that. I especially like the contrast between the solid denim and the uh, plaid bonnet. Uh, a lot of girls are wearing those at the beaches. The bikinis were in in 64, and I think they'll be even better in 65. Ugh, the smirks. That would really be great for the Honda-type class. Very sporty outfit. Very contemporary. Ah, those yellow stockings. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're getting six credits she's for this. Good on this girl because she's got good legs. But it should be worn longer on other girls. Oh, his first complete sentence. The fabric looks as though it would hold its crease. Very neat. I'm glad the trend's away from baggy clothes. These clothes give girls a little shape. I really like that. Cut. Read the line uh, again, I like please. That dress real well. I think it'd look real good with the jacket off too. It'd look real nice on a flagpole outside the frat house. I make a nice casual cruising or sailing outfit. For who? Cinderella? Like bold, contrasting colors with today's sportswear. Tarantino has this soundtrack on vinyl. It looks neat, and I especially like the collar. Should be very practical, too. Enough of that. Here's Catherine O'Hara as the lady I in the yellow the hat. Are, the ruffles are a little too formal for casual wear. I like the sunglasses, too. And that's sort of wild. I like, it. I like a medium length short like that. How do you spell purdy? How many W's in hot? Ah, oh, the sad days before they invented Serena Williams. I think a white dress like this is definitely best for playing tennis. I like that uh, bow on her hair there. It looks real sharp. I like that combination. It looks real nice. Smug boy. Very sophisticated. Stop smirking. I think a dress like that would look real good at an informal fraternity party at Dartmouth. This Friday at 10. I like it's very flattering for a taller girl. I think it looks great on any girl. Me too. Can't get here quick yeah, enough. I like it. That could be very appropriate for a high school formal or informal. Uh, Your Honor, we'd ask that the high school remark be stricken from the record. On the top, and that rose is too bad either. Goes very well with a lipstick. I'll take the whole package. I'll take five. <laughs> boys will be boys, the movie. They look like shorty pajamas. Looks like a real nice play outfit. I'll play. <laughs> and who will be providing counseling for the girls? Will Selenese pay for that? I like pink on her. I like the chicken. The material looks very summery. Those are wild colors. Uh, it's definitely not for truck fishing or something. <laughs> the sad thing is, this is the I hardest shift of labor fishing. any of them will ever perform. And so it went. Our go-getting Dartmouth judges knew what they liked. Lady Their stuff. Their stamp of approval went on clothes that were simple. Like this lampshade combo. Wild. Like this body pillow slipcover. Fun. Like this... Donald Duck costume. And beautiful. But then it was the boys' turn to walk the runway. Right? Often their judgment was based on performance. Will the fabric hold its crease? Oh, yeah, I'm sure practicality was the frat bro's primary concern. Will the white turn yellow? How beer absorbent is polyester? Will the colors stay bright? 
Will anyone ever describe these boys as bright? Yes, these fashions will perform because they're made with the Selenese contemporary fibers Arnell and Fortrell for go-getters like you. Like me? Want to know what to wear with what and where to wear it? Yes, please. This little book gives you all the answers. It's a gift from Selenese. Write Selenese, 522 Fifth Avenue, New York. To find out what the girls themselves want to wear, just ask them. Happy New Year. Bye. Thanks for watching. And hey, if you want all the fun with shorts, please check out my Patreon where you can get early access to every video, free goodies, and starting now, a bonus Patreon-exclusive episode every month. All that for a pledge of as little as a dollar per video. Thank you, patrons. I'm crazy about you. I love you. Bye.